Hey guys, it's Harley Wood, welcome back. Now, if my voice sounds just a little bit sexier than usual, it's because I've had a cold for about the past week and I'm on the downhill side of it. I think we're all good, but I wanted, I've got a lot of giveaways and things I've got to get done before the end of the year and they're starting to stack up. Kids are screaming. So we're gonna go ahead and get into this. We do have a giveaway in today's video, so stay tuned. All right, the gun I want to love so much, the Sig Rattler MCX cane brake. Funny story, if you follow me on Instagram, you'll already know this, but I found somebody local to me, it was only about eight miles away, who had one in stock. It was very, very well priced. And I hit them up via email and I said, hey, I just wanna make sure before I come over there that this is actually in stock. And they said, yes, but you do have to show proof of vaccination. And I was like, wait, what? And he said, yeah, you gotta show proof of vaccination before we'll let you in. And um, I sent him some message back that was like, look, you're in the 2A community. You're supposed to be an advocate for uh, individual liberty and freedoms. And you're gonna tell me that I have to put something in my body just to come in your shop. No thanks. So I posted that on Instagram and about 20 minutes later, sharpshooters out in Alpharetta, which is quite a bit further away from me, well over an hour away from me, they posted and they said, we've got one. And theirs was actually a couple hundred dollars more. And I said, I'll gladly drive out there, pay the couple hundred dollars more and get it. And I did. And unfortunately, I wish I would have bought more 300 blackout. So all of the footage that you're gonna see throughout this video is shot in portrait mode because it was used for YouTube shorts, all right? And they're all in the portrait uh, orientation. So I don't have a whole lot of shooting footage with this. I've only got about 200 rounds through it, but even after 200 rounds, there's something I really don't like about this gun and it can kind of be summed up with this. bit of a my eyes. So that was Taylor from Taylor Abney Adventures. All right, I'll post a link down in the description below to some of her channels. Uh, her and Dyer Armory came out to my place. I've got a range out here and we did some shooting and I pulled this thing out. They, they had not seen the cane break version. They wanted to shoot it. And literally after she only shot, I don't know, you saw there five, six, seven, eight, nine rounds, something like that. She turns around and she goes, wow, a lot of smoke in my eye or something like that. This thing is incredibly gassy, incredibly gassy. The first couple times I shot this, I had the gas port opened all the way up to kind of reduce the amount of gas that was coming back through the ejection port. And I literally had tears coming out of this, this right eye here. It was so much gas coming back. And I've had a few people, when I posted pictures of this on Instagram, the first thing they said was, I wish that gun wasn't so gassy. They have the gun and, and they, they witnessed the same thing. So it's probably a combination of having such a short barrel and then putting the suppressor on the end of it. I don't know that it's necessarily unique to this platform. Although I will tell you, I have five and a half inch pistol caliber carbines. Granted, it's not apples to apples with a 300 blackout, but I have pistol caliber carbines that I shoot suppressed all the time and never have the gas problems like that. So today's sponsor is Euro Optic. Now, funny enough, a couple years ago when Nikon decided to stop selling scopes, there were a couple that I was like, man, I really wish I had another one of those, this being one of them. And I found the deepest discount on eurooptic.com. Everything was kind of being liquidated by, um, by Nikon, and I found really, really deep discounts. And fast forward to today, they're sponsoring today's video. So one of the nice things about Euro Optic, as opposed to like Optics Planet, is everything that you see on their website is real-time inventory. It is in stock and it's ready to ship, and they ship it same day. I cannot tell you how many times I've ordered from Optics Planet, only to find out that it was something that was back ordered and I had to wait weeks or months to get it. You're not gonna have that problem with Euro Optic. Now Euro Optic is out of Pennsylvania. They are American owned. All of their employees are Americans. They are hunters. They are avid outdoorsmen. And you can be sure if you call and you talk to somebody, you're gonna talk to somebody who probably has a similar passion to you. So check them out. Link is in the description below. And the other thing I don't like is this piece of junk. So this is the stabilizing brace, all right? It pops open and there is your arm strap inside of there. This thing, is absolute junk because it spins, all right? And so you'll go and you'll go to shoulder and this thing is in some weird orientation and it gets all up in your grill. This, this is absolute garbage. Sig needs to rethink this thing. Your daughter's crying. I'll be right back. So what I ended up doing was switching it out with this brace 
that you see here from JMAC Customs. Um, I'll post a link in the description below to that and this cool little cheek riser, man. This thing is awesome. And it is offset back far enough so that it doesn't interfere with the charging handle. Now, I'll post a link in the description below to this, but just be mindful, if you do order one of these for this platform, there is one that says uh, in, in parentheses, charging handle. That's the version you need so that you can clear the charging handle. And then on the end there is the tail hook. Now I've outfitted it with the SIG Romeo 4H. Um, it's actually a nice little optic. I don't really have any complaints about it. I love the reticle inside of there. I'll also post a link in the description below to where you can get this. I figured what better pairing than a SIG on a SIG. All right, now that we've got that out of the way, let's talk about a few things I do like about this. So what drew me to the cane brake version was this handguard up front, all right? This handguard, yes, it's a little bit bulky, but I am able to fit a trash panda underneath there. So if you're familiar with the trash panda, that's a 1.75 inch diameter, and it fits perfectly underneath that handguard. Now the brace is a folding brace, so if you just apply some downward pressure with your thumb and pull up on the brace itself, it unlocks and folds sideways. Now the one drawback to this handguard though, is if you are doing a lot of suppressed shooting, this thing is going to get hot, all right? And there is not enough real estate and space around there to put something like a burn proof gear uh, wrap on this. You just have to kind of deal with it or rub it, run it with a gloved hand. On the top there is a Crimson Trace 301. That is a light and laser combo. All right, so you can kind of see the laser reflecting there. And I ran this for a week at Gun Course, uh, Gunsight Academy out in Arizona, and it's an awesome little unit. They actually sent me a few as giveaways for you guys. That's not today's giveaway, but make sure you hit a subscribe down below so you can be notified when I do release these. And the last thing I'll cover, which is probably the question on a lot of your minds, is how does this thing work without a buffer tube? It's actually quite ingenious, and I hope it kind of becomes the standard moving forward. And look at that, that is the bolt carrier group and buffer kind of recoil mechanism, all integral in one part. Very, very cool. The trigger is okay, it's decent. It's got a little bit of take up on it. You hit that wall, very clean brake. Now, let's say you wanted this setup, but you didn't like this big bulky handguard when you got it. Another really, really innovative thing that they've done is they've made the handguard easily swappable. All you have to do is pop your pivot pin out and you can see that the handguard interfaces right through the middle there and is captured by that pivot pin. Let's take off the suppressor just so I don't scratch the hell out of it. Give it a good pull and that whole handguard slides right off. There's a look at your tiny, tiny little barrel and there is how you adjust the gas, all right? So it's got two settings for the gas. And then there are the hand guards from the standard MCX version. Line it up, slide it on, pop that pivot pin back in. And now you've got a little bit more compact setup. Now you do lose a significant amount of rail space like that, okay? And especially if you wanted to run a light on the top there like I had earlier, uh, it's gonna be a really, really condensed space. Now let's get into today's giveaway, and it's been in front of you the entire time. Today's giveaway is going to be a set of Dura Mags. Now they come in a variety of colors, including reds and blues. Today we're gonna be giving away a black, a bronze, and a green one. And then all you need to do to enter is follow my channel here and follow Duramag on one of their social media outlets. I'll post links in the description below. Come back here to the YouTube channel, comment down below, and tell me where you follow Duramag. The drawing starts right now from the time this video publishes, and it's gonna go for a little bit more than 24 hours. This is a real quick turn, guys, because I've got a couple more giveaways this week. And on that note, if you're new to my channel, I've been doing a lot of giveaways lately, all right? Make sure you're subscribed, and don't just hit subscribe and, and walk away from it. There's a little bell icon on next to the subscribe button, click that and you'll get a pop-up, all right? There's three options there, all personalized or none. If you wanna be notified for every giveaway and video that I publish, make sure you choose all. And the drawing is gonna end tomorrow, November 25th at 9 p.m. Eastern time. Now, it's open to the US only, okay? If you're new to my channel, I pay to ship all of these giveaways myself, and so I just don't wanna deal with the logistics, the import paperwork, the shipping fees for shipping these things all over the world. So unfortunately, we're limiting it to the US. And that's it, guys. That is the SIG MCX Cane Brake. If you did like this video, do me a favor, show me down below, give it a quick like. I've got lots more videos to come. Please make sure you're subscribed. Appreciate you watching. 
and I'll see you in the next one. Nice little picture. That's what I was trying to get. Guns up front. Oh, yeah. Uh, <laughs>